I've lived in Chinatown for two years now, and it's been quite an adjustment. I'm still getting used to the small space, and I've never lived in a place like this before. So I've had to make a lot of adjustments, and make the best of what I've got with the small space that I'm in. And the noise, and the people, everything is different. And I just can't let it get to me, no matter how hard it is at times, because things can always be worse. And I have to remember that it's a whole lot better than being on the street, where all the other crazy people are. Cooking becomes a major obstacle when you don't have your own kitchen, as is doing the dishes every day. It's hard to work in such a small space, but you just have to make do, since you don't have much choice. You just have to make the best of it, as many other people do. The worst part of my day is probably going to the bathroom. This is the one thing I dread most while living in an SRO. The whole floor shares a bathroom, but I tend to go on the second floor as it's the cleanest bathroom, but it still requires a lot of preparation. Taking all my stuff with me, packing as if to go on a traveling trip, I have to make sure I have all my accessories in order to do a simple task, such as using the toilet. These are one of the things I dread most. Communal living in Chinatown doesn't make it any easier. 
and it's another one of the bad adjustments I've had to learn to live with as much as it gets on my nerves every single day. I live in one of the oldest neighborhoods in San Francisco. Here in Chinatown, the old buildings have survived the 1906 earthquake. But Chinatown is going through gentrification, and many of the old buildings now are vacant. Along with the rising rent, very few signs remain of the old Chinatown. Everything is old in this building. Hardly anything works. The fire escape is not legal, and once the elevator broke down for two months, trapping the older folks who live in this building, they couldn't get out. I don't know what I would do if there was a fire. This is all I have. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one here, though there are other white people in the building. This building has a lot of history, and I found out once a Russian doctor was almost assassinated here in one of the rooms. A lot of the older people here have died, oftentimes left alone, their dead bodies found later. I wonder sometimes if there are any ghosts around. Down the hall, an older man died, and I saw his body being carried out by the paramedics. In the alleyways, homeless people scream most of the night. I hardly ever get any sleep. The alleyway cleaners come between midnight and 2 a.m., and the recycle and trash people make loud noises. I don't get to sleep usually until 3 a.m and I'm often exhausted during the day when I work. Also, there are people upstairs who make loud noises most of the day and night, and there's a guy below me who screams a lot. I pass the time writing stories, listening to music and watching movies I borrow from the library. I don't have time for much else outside of work. I don't participate in any activities, and I have very few friends. I wonder about my life sometimes and what will happen to me. How much longer I'll be living in poverty. I don't know what will become of me. Or if I'll remain alone for most of my life. Some of these thoughts haunt me. I'm not sure what else to do. Other things bother me too. I'm starting to hear strange noises at night. <laughs> <laughs> 